Which one is this? Kathy Sanford is a 57-year-old with early-stage Alzheimer's disease. Her father had noticed the changes. There just seemed to be little memory things that would pop up. You know, where did I put something? I've lost this. Sanford wanted to spare others her angst and volunteered for a clinical trial to have tiny wires implanted in her brain. I said, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. The device is a pacemaker similar to those used for heart conditions, but sends mild electrical shocks to parts of the brain affected by Alzheimer's to try and wake them up again to improve memory and cognition. It's believed that because of the plaques that are causing the Alzheimer's, the uh, brain networks or connections are slowed down or gummed up. And our hope is that we can increase the activity of the brain and uh, bypass this block in the brain. Ohio State University is one of a few institutions testing brain pacemakers on Alzheimer patients. They're already a standard treatment for Parkinson's disease and could help change the way Alzheimer's is treated. Unfortunately, medications have not proven to be very significant. There's no definitive help for Alzheimer's patients. Sanford takes tests in the lab to monitor any progress. After a few months, Dr. Razai's team saw encouraging preliminary results. Puts a smile to the face of the entire team when we see her speed and accuracy is improving and she's able to problem solve better. I'm just trying to make the world a better place. Dr. Razai cautions this research is new, but hopes one day it'll help patients like Sanford retain some independence. <laughs> Bianca Davey, Associated Press.